fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and the hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. man did more to bring law and order to the early western United States than the masked rider of the plains. He fought crime and criminals throughout the new territory, and whenever men gathered around a campfire, stories were told of his strength and courage. In time, Hayo Silver came to be the battle cry of justice on the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger... Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of the Rio Kid! Come on, Silver! Away! A crowd of cheering cowhands lined the rail of the corral at the X Bar X Ranch. Dusty Liggett, the newest member of the crew, had thrown his saddle on Satan, a powerful bay stallion with the reputation of a killer. And now Dusty was riding the wildly plunging animal with the grace and ease of a master horseman. The only one of the group who did not share in the general enthusiasm was Ted Bassett, the foreman. He stood beside Mary North, the daughter of his employer, silent and disapproving. <laughs> Ted, he's wonderful. I never saw such riding. Look, Ted, look. Satan just can't throw him. Yeah, I'm looking. Oh, oh for a second I thought... <laughs> oh, Ted, Satan's quitting. He's given up. Uh-huh. Oh, wasn't it grand? Oh, sure. Oh, Ted, what's the matter? Matter? Nothing I know of. You look... Why, Ted, you look as though you're sorry Dusty rode Satan. <laughs> what's it to me? There's something wrong. What do you want me to do? Start hopping around yelling my head off? Shucks, he ain't the best Bronco Buster I've seen. There's plenty can top him. Well, he's the best I've seen. Dusty! Oh, Dusty, come here. Use it, fellas. <laughs> Howdy, miss. That sure some horse your pa owns. The nose I ever saw is bead. Dusty, I <laughs> thought you were wonderful. <laughs> Did you, miss? It's mighty nice of you. I wanted to just tell you that second, I... Just a second, Mary. Yes? Of course, I'm just a foreman here. But if I can butt in, do you mind my saying something? Well, well of course not. Well, something troubling you, fella? Well, not exactly, Dusty. I was just going to suggest that now the fun's over, maybe we could get some work done around this ranch. Or ain't Mr. North paying you enough to cover anything but showing the boys how good you are when you can't think of nothing better to do? Well, doggone. <laughs> Mad because I rode that horse, huh? You know the orders I gave you this morning. How about doing like you've been told? Ride the North fence? Oh, well, sure, I guess I can. <laughs> Well, bye, Miss Mary. Glad you liked my ride, and even if some other folks around here didn't. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Ted. Well? I, I think you're hateful. You're acting this way just because Dusty did something you couldn't. You, you're just mean and, and jealous. Dusty, I want you to know I don't agree with Ted. 
I don't see any reason why you shouldn't have ridden Satan if you wanted to. <laughs> Thanks, miss. Like I pointed out, I'm still foreman. I answer to your call, Mary, not to you. Dusty, get going. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Oh. Now, honey, you listen to me a second. Don't you dare call me that. Well, listen to me anyhow. If we're going to get hitched, I guess I got some rights. And how do you think it looks to the other fellas? You making so much over that armory every time you see him. I don't care. But, Mary... And, and if you had the idea we were ever going to be married, well, well, you can just forget it right now. So there. Hey! Don't you talk to me. Oh, wait, honey. <laughs> hey, cut it out, Ted. You're making a doggone idiot out of yourself. Huh? Oh, hello, Mac. <laughs> You've got plenty to learn, fella. Yeah? Don't ever let a girl you're interested in see you're jealous. Even if you are, it's the worst thing you can do. Uh, you can take it from me as a feller knows. Doggone it all, Mac. What am I going to do? Just take it easy. Take it easy with a gent like that around? But doggone it, he can rope like a Mexican, ride like a Texan, and soft soap folks like he'd run a medicine show. <laughs> take it easy. I'd like to jump down that hombre's throat. <laughs> It was several weeks later that the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, stopped a cowhand on the trail not far from the ex-Bar X ranch. The masked man was looking for information about an outlaw. Slim, good-looking, black-haired fella, huh? That's right. Uh, what did you say his handle was? Along the border, he's known as the Rio Kid. But up this way, he's likely to call himself anything. He's a smooth talker, clever with horses, and as fast with his guns as any man you're likely to meet. You run across no one answering that description, eh? <laughs> Shucks, no. And from the way you tell it, if I had, I guess I wouldn't have forgot it. I know he's somewhere in the district, but we lost his trail on the other side of Calhoun. Uh, what's he wanted for? He isn't wanted. Huh? But I thought you I said, said he's he... a crook and a murderer. As a matter of fact, it wouldn't be so easy to prove it on him. That's what Tato and I hope to do when we find him. Ooh. You wouldn't be looking for this gent for some other reason, would you? What do you mean? Well, don't take offense, stranger, when there's none meant. But I couldn't help kind of wondering, with you wearing that mask and all... Never mind the mask. Oh, it ain't none of my business. Well, if you can't tell us anything, we'll be riding on. Thanks, anyhow. Oh, sure. That's all right. Hey, wait a minute. Yes? Just figured I'd better warn you so you wouldn't make no mistake if you dropped by the X bar X, please. Mistake? <laughs> Don't go to taking Dusty Liggett for this fellow you're hunting. It may be cause you some trouble. Dusty Liggett? Yeah, he's one of their top hands. And he answers the description I gave you? Well, I guess it does. And why didn't you tell me that before? Because <laughs> you said you was looking for a crook. He sure ain't one. He's just a cowhand, same as me. How long has he been in this district? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a month, maybe more. I see. Tonto, let's go. Huh? Now, wait. Come on. Get him up, Scott. Come on, old fellow. Hey, hold on. <laughs> well, it ain't none of my business. If that masked fella makes a mistake of getting that dusty gent mad, well, that's his funeral. Come on, Bronk. Get up, lad. <laughs> While the Lone Ranger and Tonto were riding toward the X Bar X Ranch, Ted Bassett was knocking at the ranch house door. Oh, hello, Ted. Howdy, ma'am. Johnny was just telling me I was wanted. Well, come in. He's just in the parlor, Ted. Oh, Andy, here's Ted to see you. Send him in. Go on, Ted. Thank you, ma'am. Howdy, Mr. North. Hello, Mary. Hello there. Hello, Ted. Oh, you here, Dusty? <laughs> Sure, why not? Ted, sit down. Uh-huh. Now then, we're all here, so I can tell what I wanted you for. First, maybe you and Dusty seen that the sheriff was out here yesterday, Ted. That right? I seen him. Well, he told me something. He just got a letter from the U.S. Marshal. The Marshal wrote there's reason to believe the Rio Kid is somewhere in this district. What? The Rio Kid? He's been seen? Well, all that's known is that he was heading this way. Now, I can tell you've heard of him. And if you have, there's no need of me explaining the kind of reputation that gent's got. What I've heard, he's poison. I guess so. Pretty slick, too. Well, that's just the point. Wherever he shows up, there's either a killing or a holdup or both. There's never any evidence against him, but it's always noted that trouble begins when he's around and ends when he's gone. So the sheriff wants us to watch out for him, huh? Yes, of course. But that ain't exactly why I called you here. No? You see, Mary's going to have to take a trip. 
She's got to go over to Sage City for me. That right, Mary? When you leaving? Tomorrow, isn't it, Pa? Mm-hmm. First thing in the morning. That way, you can be at the Box W for dark to stay the night. Then get into Sage City the next day. Uh, business, is it? <laughs> that don't concern nobody but Mary and me. What I'm getting at is this. With the Rio kid around, I don't want her making that trip alone. It'd be better for her to have somebody along for protection. I'm not afraid, Pa. I know you ain't, but I am. I savvy, boss. Well, I'll tell you, I don't see why I couldn't make the trip. We're not doing anything now that I have to be here for. I can explain to Dusty what he should do in my place while I'm gone. That's what you want. And you won't have to worry for Mary at all. You're not going, Ted. Huh? <laughs> I uh, just called you in so you understand why I was taking away one of your men. I'm sending Dusty. Hey, boss, you can't do that. No, Ted. But you can't. I... Why... What's well, my place to look after Mary? If she needs any garden, I'm the one who should do it. Ted, now, wait a minute. I don't see why I you... I said wait. Well... I don't want you to be put out about this, Ted, but I think it's the way it ought to be done. We both want Mary to be just as safe as she can be, don't we? That's why I said you shouldn't. <laughs> now, Ted, to handle the boys, you're the best man I got. But when it comes to guns or riding or roping or anything like that, you'll have to admit yourself that Dusty's got the edge on you. I ain't admitting no such thing. Well, I can't help it. It's so. But he can't... And we're not here to argue about it. What I've decided goes... Now, just calm down and hear me out. But don't go at all, boss. I'm telling Will you... you keep still? <laughs> Sorry, boss. Yes, I was sort of forgetting myself. Mm, that's better. Well, there ain't much more to say. Dusty, you'll be ready to leave in the morning by six. Right. And between now and then, keep this trip to yourself. That goes for you, too, Ted. All right. I won't say a word. And remember, Dusty, I'm depending on you to see that Mary gets to Sage City safe no matter what happens. I'm not warning you because I don't trust you. If I didn't, I'd never send you with her in the first place. I'm just mentioning it because I don't want you to get careless. Mr. North, Miss Mary will have the safest trip she ever had anywhere in her whole life. Good. That's all, then. You can go now. Yeah, then I'll be looking for you at six, Miss Mary. I'll be all ready. Right. Well, good night. Bye, Bye. Mary. See you later. Bye. Paul, why didn't you tell him about the money? For the same reason, I'm sending you with it instead of Dusty or Ted. Yes? They're good men, but you can never tell who will talk and who won't. And with a real kid in the district, the less said, the better. You'll be carrying close to 10000 That's every penny I got from that cattle buyer. Don't worry, Pa. Well, I'll be bound to worry some till you get back. I'll make the trip as quickly as I can. Sure, honey, I know you will. And if I figured there was any real danger, of course... I'd make the trip myself somehow, even if I am busy. Oh, I want to go. Well, get that money to the bank, then hustle back. <laughs> and, fellas, you should have seen Ted's face when the boss told him I was a better man than he was. <laughs> he was fit to buy. <laughs> I didn't dare look at him for fear I'd get to laugh and right in his face. <laughs> so I just kept looking at the floor, waiting for Ted to take a swing at him. <laughs> and if he had, I'd have climbed all over him. But I reckon he didn't have the nerve. <laughs> and then the old man said... Dusty. Huh? Come out here. Yeah? What for? I got something to say to you that can be said outside the bunkhouse better than in. Or if you got a yellow streak as big as your mouth. Aim to find out? I reckon so. You fellas stay right where you are. That's what you say, Ted. Come on. Go around here. <laughs> You're a straw, boss. This will do. Now then, what was the idea of telling them fellas about the trip tomorrow when the boss said not to? I didn't. And what was you talking about? <laughs> I reckon you heard enough to make a mighty close guess. I reckon I did. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah? You've got yourself in good with Mary and the boss and the fellas working here. But I ain't so easy fooled. In my opinion, nobody was ever as handy with a gun as you are for any honest reason. And nobody ever shot off of the mouth so much without somebody like me coming along and shutting for him. What's that mean? I'm going to give you the lick of your life. Well, then come on. You ahead. get it. Hey, what? Hey, let go. Come on, 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 let The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. The masked man and Tonto did not slow up until they had reached the cover of a small woods. Who? Who this? Who? 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 You let me go. What do you want, anyhow? Who are you? Get down. <clears throat> Don't slap, you... brother. I'll take that gun. Give me that back. You can have it when you leave. How about tell me what this is all about? You think I'm carrying cash worth stealing? I don't suppose you are. And what do you the want? The most I'm hoping for is that you have sense enough to listen when someone wants to help you. Huh? Tonto and I were outside the house when North was talking to you and Dusty Liggett. We were still there when you had left. And he told his daughter she was carrying $10,000 to Sage City. What's that? Now then, are you ready to listen to what I have to say? You're after that 10000 No. Well, what do you... I have an idea the Rio kid will be. Huh? And if you will, you can help me trap him. Mister, how do I know you ain't him? Look here. Take a look at the bullets in this gun. What? Go on, examine them. Well, I'll be switched. Well? Silver. Bullets are silver. You heard my horse answer to the name of Silver. You've seen those bullets. Does that mean anything to you? You you mean you're the Lone Ranger? I think you've answered your own question. What's brought you here? A real kid. You're on his trail? I am. You know him? I do. Where is he? Will I tell you that? Will you cooperate with me? What do you mean? We have to be careful. You must remember that no matter how much the law suspects, it is nothing on him. It would do no good to turn him over to the law unless at the same time we gave the law evidence enough to hold him. How are you going to get that evidence? By giving the kid all the rope he asks for. And hoping that we can convert that rope into a noose. Yeah? Well, mister, if you can do that, I'm for you. At the ranch, a search for Ted was being organized. But before the crew were ready to start, Mary Bassett saw the foreman coming toward the house on foot. Pa, there's Ted. I I think he's all right. Hey, wait for me. Hurry. Uh, hold on. Ted. Oh, Ted. Hi. Oh, Ted, you're safe. I, we didn't know what had happened. Gosh, I thought I'd go crazy. <laughs> you worried about me? I... Uh, well, I, I mean... I... I wonder if you know just what you do mean. Hi, boss. Ted, what happened? Who was that masked fellow? What did he want? Oh, nothing special. He robbed you? No. Because you didn't have much cash on you, huh? He didn't even look to find out, boss. No? Then why in Tunga did he ride off with you like that? Look, boss. Yeah? If you don't mind, that's something I'd rather explain later on. Is that all right? Hmm. Well, sure, I reckon so. You'll see why when you learn the whole thing. Can't tell me nothing now, huh? I just as soon wait. Well, it's all right if you think you know what you're doing, I guess. Excuse me. There's Pete. I want him to ride out and tell the boys you're back. Sure. Ah, look here, Mary. Yes, Ted? When you come running out of the house just now, you didn't act to me like you changed your mind any about getting hitched. I, I, I was excited. I, I didn't realize how it looked. Oh, go on, Mary. Why can't everything be between us like it was before? I think it... Please. But... Let's not discuss it. Hey, you're not trying to tell me you've really gone soft with that loud mouth no good... Stop it. But gosh, Mary, can't you see oh, that he... Can't you keep quiet when I ask you? The more you talk like that, the more you prove just how small and and mean you are. But look... I... I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man alive. At daybreak the next morning, Mary's parents were saying goodbye to their daughter. Dusty Liggett was already waiting outside and... Do be careful, won't you, Mary? Of course, Mother. And, daughter, don't say anything to Dusty about the cash you're carrying, even after you get started. He might think it kind of funny we hadn't mentioned it before. Just say we had business to attend to there, and as me and your ma couldn't get away, you were sent instead. I will, Pa. And if you do run across the Rio kid... Oh, don't even think of it, Andy. Well, it never hurts to be prepared for the worst. If you do meet up with him, honey, just remember he's got no way of knowing you've got that cash with you. Least ways he shouldn't have. So if it's a hold-up and you turn over just what you'd be likely to carry, he won't think nothing of it. I'm keeping my money separate from the rest. A good idea. But if somehow he does know you got the cash... Yes? Give it to him. I'd rather lose everything we've got than to have you come to harm. <laughs> now, don't you worry. Most likely we won't meet a soul on the way. Oh, I think i better get started. Dusty's waiting. There's Ted outside, too. I'll go outside with you. But you keep in mind what I just said. I will. Goodbye, Ma. Goodbye, daughter. Morning, Ted. Morning, boss. Morning, Dusty. Morning, Andy. Morning, Morning Miss Norris. 
You got your horse all saddled, Miss Mary. We're ready to start any time you are. And I'm ready right now. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I'll take good care of boss. Thank you, Dusty. Right. Goodbye, Bye, Mary. Man. Now remember, Dusty. Hey, hey, hey. Get, up, uh, get up, boy. Get up. Well, Ted, I guess you and me can get to work. Hey, how come you saddled my horse? Mr. North, you and me are taking a ride. Huh? What for? You'll find that out when we get there. See, what's on your mind? You'll see. Ain't you acting kind of mysterious? Come on, boss, this is important. I mean it. <clears throat> Ted? Yeah? You've been acting funny ever since you rode away yesterday with that mask fella. This got something to do with him? I said you'll see when we get there. Coming? Go ahead. Lead the way. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ted led his employer out of sight of the ranch house, then turned down a broad gully and rode a short distance farther. Three horsemen were waiting around the bend. The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and the Sheriff. Sheriff? Oh, boy. Whoa, oh, boy. There. Oh. Hi, Andy. What in tongue are you doing here? <laughs> the masked man roused me out of bed this morning and kind of hinted if I didn't come along peaceable, he'd blast me out of my boots. <laughs> well, I come. And with what he's told me since, I'm kind of glad I did. Now, how about letting me in on this, gents? You figure I can be told what's up? The mask man will tell you. Yeah. Andy, we're after the real kid. Tonto and I know who he is, where he is, and we believe we know where he'll strike next. And the sheriff's alone to make the arrest, and you'll be a witness. Is that right? You tell the truth, sheriff? I reckon so. Know the mask man, do you? I mean, know him good enough so you take his word on this? I don't know him. But I'll take his word, all right. Huh? Andy, this hombre's the Lone Ranger. Well, doggone. Oh, follow me. Kill on, In the meantime, Mary North and Dusty Liggett made steady progress toward the Box W Ranch where they planned to stop for the night. But just as the light was fading from the western sky, Dusty cut away from the stage trail and... We'll go this way, Miss Mary. Come on, boy. But, but Dusty, this isn't the trail to the box, W. Well, it ain't the regular one, miss, but it'll get us there, and I figure it'll be safer. Get up, boy, get up there. It ain't traveled so much. And don't you be scared, I know the way. But, but Dusty, I don't see why we should take this trail. We have such a little ways further to go... Well, the box W can't be more than a couple of miles. <laughs> you worried? Well, I, I You don't... ain't doubting my judgment, are you? No, I I didn't mean to do that. Well, then you just follow along and trust to me. Your pa puts you in my care, and I aim to see you get to Sage City without nothing going wrong. Get up, boy, get up. Get up. Take a look here, Tano, and see if you follow the stage trail or turned off. Uh, you know something? Huh? This is the way my daughter and Dusty came. I'll bet anything the real kid's following them. You're right on one thing, Andy. Well, what's that? Wherever your daughter and Dusty are, you'll find the real kid not far away. Well, Tano? Then turn off. I thought that would happen. Come on, let's get going. We're wasting time. All right. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. First, Mary had only been puzzled by Dusty's choice of trails. But as it grew darker, she became alarmed. Dusty, are you sure you know where you're going? Well, now, Miss Mary, didn't I tell you not to worry? But I know the box W shouldn't be this far. Yeah. Oh, these trees, it's it's so hard to see the trail. Uh, just follow me. But it's getting dark. Now, you do like I tell you. No, Dusty. Honestly, I think we should turn back. We, we can go back to the stage trail and reach the box W that way. Then we'll be sure we're not lost. Now, oh, quit your jawing. What, what did you say? I said shut up. I'm getting tired of your whining. Dusty. You heard me. How dare you talk to me like that? What's gotten into you? Well, I don't see no good reason why I should keep on pretending no longer. Here, pull up there. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Dusty, what are you doing? You're going to hand over that cash you're carrying peaceable, or you're going to make me take it away from you? Dusty, you... And quit I... calling me Dusty. What isn't that... I'd rather you call me what most folks do. <laughs> Just the real kid. <gasps> Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good one, ain't it? 
Your pa's scared of the real kid, so he sends you to town with his cash and sends me along to guard you. You, you crook. <laughs> sure, I ain't denying it. But hand over that cash. I ain't going to wait much longer. I, I have Now, don't lie to me. You think I didn't hang around the house till I found out what you and your pa was planning? <laughs> Shucks, the only reason I hired out to your pa in the first place was because I knew how much cash he had on hand. I'd just been waiting for a good chance to grab it. Now, here, get down on that uh, saddle. Get down, I tell you. No, please. Let now, go. Now, where's the cash? I, I tell you, Mitch, I don't... ain't going to listen to you much longer. You think because you're a woman I'm scared to rob you? <laughs> you little idiot. And when you've taken the chances I have in my time, something like this ain't going to phase you. Now, give me that cash. No. Why, you... Get away. Get back. I'll show you get how, Sheriff. Oh. Whatever we are, are, you're under arrest. Oh, Pa, Ted. You dirty schemer. Let me handle this. No, you don't. One step closer and I'll blow you to blazes. Now, get back. Get back, I tell Stop you. That gun. Take it. Oh, my hand. You're not hurt. You deserve worse. Hold out your hands while I put the cuffs on. Oh, me. Sheriff, wait. I got a score to settle with this skunk. Let him and me settle it. Just stand aside and don't interfere. No, please, Ted. Huh? You you might get hurt. By him? <laughs> I'll break the polecat in two. Stay out of this, Ted. He's under arrest. The law can take over now. Well, what were you fellas following us for? What were you doing here? We wanted to give you a chance to incriminate yourself, Dusty, and you took it. It was a mask man's idea. He said you'd try a stunt like this and give yourself away if we just let you. So you're the real kid, huh? Well, kid, you've been outsmarting a lot of folks for quite a long spell. But you made a bad mistake when you went up again the Lone Ranger. I'll see you just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.